So I'm going to show you Figma's kind of hidden 2x pixel preview feature. If you're drawing something, here I am zoomed in to 1600% on a 16 by 16 pixel box, this box here, to draw a little icon. And you might draw this little arrow icon and think, yeah, that looks fine. But when you export this, it's not going to look fine because it's not going to be a crisp vector like this. It's going to be pixels that are very blocky. So let's turn on the pixel preview so we can see exactly what this is going to look like after export before we export it. So we go to the Figma menu, view, and find pixel preview. The shortcut is control P. And now you can see it turns into kind of a blurry mess. So it's very useful to be able to see that before you export it, because now you can come in here and try and figure out why. I mean, I've drawn this line in between pixels, so it has to kind of blur out because you can't draw a half pixel. So I could maybe make this be two pixels wide, uh, but then you can see the arrow, kind of the edges of the arrow don't look very good. So we can expand those out a little bit and come up with something that looks a little nicer. We zoom out, still not the most beautiful arrow, but you get the idea. Now, this pixel preview that I just enabled, it's a one X pixel preview, but increasingly screens are two X and even three X. I don't think Apple even sells a one X screen anymore. So that one X pixel preview, it's useful because some of your uh, some users of what you're creating will probably see what you're creating on a 1x screen and you want to make sure those assets look right. But the 2x pixel preview is going to be very useful. So how do we do that? There's nothing here about 2x. Well, if you go to the zoom menu over here, pixel preview, in this menu, it's a bit different. It actually has the 2x option. Uh, there's no shortcut for it, but you can enable it there. And once you've enabled that, now we're seeing the 2x pixel preview. We can see how that's going to look. Actually, if we go down to one pixel for our uh, line, you can see that even things that are at a half pixel look crisp because with a 2x uh, screen, you can have those half pixels. So if you're creating a small icon, this is crucial to be able to see this 2x pixel preview. If you use the keyboard shortcut after enabling the 2x pixel preview, it will toggle back and forth to the 2x preview. But if you close this document and reopen it, it will revert back to the 1x. Now it reverts back to the 1x pixel preview option. So make sure you go back to the menu on the right, not the one on the left, and choose pixel preview 2x. Now the 1x pixel preview can be used at this full zoom. Um, if I turn that on, I can see the blurriness appear from this viewpoint. And this is useful because if you don't have a 1x display, you wanna see how things are gonna look on a 1x display, you can turn that on. But when you're zoomed in, it's a different story. Oh, so actually here, if I turn on the 2x pixel preview, because I'm on a 2x screen, if you're at 100% zoom, this pixel preview doesn't look any different until you zoom in, that's when you're gonna see the pixelation is a bit different. So I use this quite a lot if I'm making icons or if I'm trying to recreate uh, some UI that I took a screenshot of, because if you're doing a vector graphic next to a bitmap, you're not gonna know if they're exactly the same because you're not seeing the individual pixels that are gonna be rendered out. So I find this really useful. I just wish there was like a shortcut to enable it. Now, speaking of trying to preview something at 1X, if you don't have a 1X screen, if you go to some app, any app you want, I'm gonna choose Maps and you go to Get Info, which is Command-I, there's a checkbox here, Open in Low Resolution. So I'll check that. And now when I open this app, it's all pixely. I don't know how easy this is to see across the YouTube video, but you can see the pixels. It looks like I'm using a 1x display, and that's quite useful if you're working on Mac apps and you need to see how those pixels are gonna look. So you can even use that on Safari, and you'll see the whole web and all your websites as they would look on a 1x display. A nice way to test things out if you're trying to make sure that things look pixel perfect on 2x and 1x.